So I've got this, this is just a standard. So I put it there and there, and I get it sort of even. So what I'm doing, now what I'm looking for, and this is where you need to work on the last, I'm looking for, and you see this, a bit of gap here, can you see that? A bit of gap there, and a bit of gap there. And they should be about the same, okay? So if I have it like, if I make the pattern so it's tight there, when I last it up, it'll push, the, the lasting process will push there, and this will disappear up here, okay? If I make it fit here, with lots of gap here, when you last it up, it'll push that up, and you'll find that the wings of your, your stiffener keep popping up the bottom of the quarters and between the line and the upper. So the way to get it, so it, as you last it up, it distorts shape. You've got a bit of pull there and a bit of pull there, okay? And you've got enough paper, you get it, so you've got enough paper underneath, say eight millimeters, eight to 10 millimeters of allowance. Um, I've got a bit of pull there, I've got cover over all of my uh, marks, I've got pull there and pull there. Can you see that? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put a fold there for the uh, leading edge of the front, a fold there for the leading edge of the back, then I'm gonna trace the feather line. Bear in mind, this has got a really nice slim waist. It's gonna be a really nice beveled waist on this shoe. Okay, so there, that's the quarter line. And then looking in here, there's the back line. So I put the back height there. And I come here, there's the medial malleolus, the inside ankle bone there. And I come here, right there, it's the lateral, okay? And then I know, I got it on there, I can't go below that point. So I've got to curve that in. And I know I can't go below that point, so I think that's all right. Okay, so here we are. Here's the feather line. And by the way, this notch means the medial side, the inside. Okay, that's important. So I'm gonna leave eight mil on that, or 10, well, let's do 10 to be safe. So there's 10, 10, 10, 10. 10 mil is, is a, just over three eighths of an inch, half inch, okay? Okay, so there, there is where I'm, I'm gonna cut. So put the notch back, so might as well do that now. See the control you have and this, the cleanness of the cut with a knife. Put the notch back on and then also cut off, there's the length. See, always get that notch in. By the way, I, la I labeled it right away. This is the interweave shoe and the date. And if it was for a client, you put the client's name and the date. Um, because if it falls on the floor and uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff on the floor, you know, like, you know, I've got this, this sitting on the floor and there could be all kinds of other things. You could immediately pick it up and know what it is. Okay. So I know the stiffener has to go under there because the way it's closed. I know that's the medial malleolus, the uh, inside ankle bone. I know that's the C point. I know that is the lateral. And I know that I have to stay quite low here. So I'm coming low there. Then I'm going to come up to capture more of the shoe. Then I'm going to drop down, come up. There's the C point. Then I'm going to come down for the inside ankle bone and in there. Okay. So cut that out. Good, okay, chuck that away. So we got the notch, here we have, we put it on, you see the feathers matching, and uh, it's come out, actually, it's, yeah, it's come out, so I'm on there and on there with the, the fronts, and bear in mind that this is gonna stretch forward. So I've got a bit of a pull there, 
and a bit of a pull there. Okay, so I'm tucked under the medial ankle bone, and oh look, I think I want to be safe. I'll just take a bit more out here. See, it's a kind of a work it as you go because thing with uh, paper and card is when you take a bit out, the card behaves in a different little in different way. Okay, so there we are.